Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Oklahoma's looked almost unbeatable the last few weeks. They're finally playing the way they knew they could before the season started. You know how this game is. You're only as good as your last one. They're going to have to prove it on the field again today. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. venue in college football in Notre Dame Stadium. We're almost set for kickoff from South Bend. And now it's time for the coin talk. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calorie. Enjoy everything. Fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. Harris fields it at the one. He's taken down at the 24. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Steps out of bounds at the 27. That'll make it second and seven. And he's taken down at the 31. That'll bring up third and four. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. Caught out in the open. They'll bring him down at the 40. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. From their own 40-yard line, it's second down. Set! Blue 14! Blue 14! Oh, Here's the halfback on the screen. He's tackled at about the 45. To his receiver. And down he goes at the 14 yard line. The receiver found the hole in the zone and turned it into a first down. No matter what type of defensive coverage you have, there are always going to be holes. The best thing you can do is make those holes small so the quarterback can't get the ball in there. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That brings him second and five. Gets out to about the nine yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. Third down. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Blue 14! Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown! I 
like how the quarterback, the offensive line, and the receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese? The Mustangs and Horned Frogs square off in the battle for the Iron Skill. And for TCU, they put together a solid drive capped by a scoring run. The Horned Frogs are on top, 7-0. Elsewhere, get you up to date on the action in Denton. And for North Texas, they've now come up short five straight times. Texas State gets the win, 28-7. And for the Sooners, they may not need any extra motivation, but if they know that score in that game, they know how big this game is. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Fielded at the four. Tackle at the 33-yard line. The Sooners have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. The Sooners always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. Fires it out. Tackle at about the 33-yard line. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. And what's ironic about that from going for the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. Room around the corner. Jack takes it to 32. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 49. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Runs it to tackle in the backfield. Think about the speed and instincts it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that. That's well done. From their own 45-yard line, it's second down. Notre Dame is up by a touchdown. They'll knock him down for a loss. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That makes it third and 15. Six-yard line. Man, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. Fourth and long here after the sack. Harris is the punter. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. Notre Dame's loving this crowd support, and they get it week in and week out. Yeah, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium is creating an environment that's going to allow them to play with an edge on defense. Great start to this game. Now let's see if they can just continue that. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go.
really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd in this stadium. Fires that quickly to the tailback. Tackle made at the 45. I'm not sure if the back was his first option, but he got in the ball and he was able to make something big happen. Gets to about the 44-yard line. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. 7-0, Fighting Irish. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Kirk, we saw this guy head to the locker room earlier with an injury, and unfortunately, it looks like he could be sitting out the rest of this one. Quick strike, and he drops it. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. He's going to go for the home run. The defender had it and then dropped it. Now, I don't know if this quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision, but that wasn't a pass he should have thrown. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Notre Dame up seven points. Across midfield. Inside the 30. The 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. Great-looking play by the offense as the halfback took it in for the score. Here's a play that was well-designed and well-executed. It can't get much better than that. the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Caught in a big hit, he stopped in his tracks. That makes it second and six. four-yard line. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. Got a man, watch out here. And they make the stop around the 33-yard line. 
first down. Hey, Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. From the 37-yard line, second down. Slings it. Knocked out of bounds at the 34. That's a genius. Fires that quickly incomplete. Brown. Wants to pin these guys deep, and you got to think he'll be looking coffin corner on this one. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. He's under pressure. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. to the tailback and he tackles him hard at the 48 yard line there's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense trying to wear him down and he's tackled at the 32 22-yard line. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Fights forward to about the 19. He decides to keep it and gets the first down. Good decision there by the quarterback to hold on to the football and not risk a turnover. This is the eighth play of this drive. Makes it out to about the seven. Brad, you just don't see this very often anymore in college football. That is their fifth first down on this drive alone. They have great rhythm right now as an offense. And look at that poor defense. They're looking over to the sidelines to the defensive coordinator for some help. They need to change things up. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he's taken down at about the five-yard line. the two-yard line. Gaining three yards. That makes it third and goal. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. So 
he punches it into the end zone for the second time today. He's run the ball very well, and he's going to see a lot more carries before this one's over. He's really helped carry the offense so far today. And he tacks on the extra point. An 11-play, 81-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He's to the 20, and he has it on the corner. The 50. At the 30, he gets hit out of bounds around the 26-yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Holds it in. First down, and he's knocked out of bounds. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 12-yard line. Here we go, D. Get off the field. Fires quick. He catches another. And he's shoved out of bounds at the five-yard line. That makes it second and two. Trying to do a little too much by himself. Hey, maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it. Ball inside the 10-yard line. Third down. Steps out of bounds at the 13. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. Notre Dame's offensive coordinator. I don't know if he saw something that defense in that first quarter, but right now they're rolling. You know, they started off a little bit slow, but give him a lot of credit for making the adjustments, and all of a sudden he's made enough adjustments to put his offense in a position to put up a lot of points. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brent, because the big hog mullies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. Quick throw. And down he goes around the 44-yard line. He's immediately tackled. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39 yard line. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. He chucks it downfield. Almost intercepted. We've still got a half of football remaining. Notre Dame's up by 18. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. He's Davis, Dave Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it uh, every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half. And you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of. And, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week. 
and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes. Because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it at harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. Caught at the eight. And he's hammered down. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He might not be able to get the pass off. Tackle at the 33-yard line. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. He's tackled at the 42-yard line. That's a D9 on the way. First down. Roger, Roger. Hey, alert 48. Hey, we got Mike to 48 right now. Let's go. 10, 9, 20, 64. 49, 10, 9, And he just gets rid of it. From their own 42-yard line. It's second down. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. Quick strike to the receiver. In the shotgun and five wide out. Throws this one out to the left. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. The offense is coming out on the field, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone lately. Gets out to around the 45. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 44-yard line. The late handoff, and he's not going to get back to the line. Call it a loss of three yards on the way. Third down. Stop your whining. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. That'll make it fourth and 14. Tackle made at the 36 yard line. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. He 
gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 36. And it's almost picked off. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Complete. He's got room. He's out of bounds around the 43-yard line. Jack will be the return man. He's out to the 30. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. He scrambled. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterbacks are just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. He tackles him for a loss. Loss of two yards on the play. That brings up third and 12. From their own 31-yard line, it's third down. Three down, three down. Hey, Mike, 20, Mike, 20. Ready! Frantic, yeah! He's got all day. He flings it. And it's incomplete. That's going to bring up fourth down. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Harris. Awaits the snap. Hall oh, fields it at the 35. Tackle at the 41. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Griffin gets the ball. Nice run there as they work the outside. That brings up second and five. Makes it to the 41. That's good for a game of 14 yards. Runs it left for a decent game. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Gets to about the 34-yard line. That makes it third and three. catch and he steps out i thought there was a chance he'd be brought down before getting to the markers it was a great effort there to get beyond for the first down fires it out brought down at about the 15 yard line First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. We head to the fourth. 
Notre Dame. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Rodgers on the give, and they make the stop around the 15-yard line. Tackle made around the 14-yard line. Here comes the pressure. Strike to his receiver, no good. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. He's under pressure. He's taken down at the 13-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Second and ten. Ball on the 13-yard line. Slings it out there incomplete. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Tackled for a loss. Loss of three on the way. That brings up third and 14. down and he's knocked out. First and ten. Ball on the 36. Less than three minutes in the game. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They're putting together a solid drive here. It's first and ten, and we're on play number nine. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Tenth play of the drive. Gets to about the 47-yard line. 
They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. They'll bring him down at the 45. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one. 21-3, Notre Dame. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.